Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. I am once again taking a look at one of your designs that you have linked me in the comment section of one of my videos. And if you wish to see one of your items shown on this channel, just leave me a link somewhere and I'll eventually get round to it. So for today I've been asked to look at the Big Miner 1, which is this thing right here. Now don't judge a book by its cover, because I know some of you be instantly turned off by this little thing, but it is quite handy. It's got a full script set up to the point where it can automatically mine a ore patch, and then it will reverse out and fly back to base all by itself. So I'll start by going around the outside and give you a little brief over what it has, and then we'll go and play around with the mining. So at the very front here we have got four mining arms which is just enough to make sure we can force this entire ship through an asteroid if we wanted to. A regular cockpit sits in the dead center and just above that a sensor, remote control and a ore detector. Surrounding the cockpit on these sides we've got six iron thrusters and two small reactors. Sitting to the left and the right of the cockpit, we've got two LCD screens with some very important information. One is our O2H2 generation, the batteries and all that, and this one is to control the PAM script, which is how the whole ship is going to automatically start mining stuff, you could fly back to your base, and all that. Below the cockpit, we've got two spotlights, and then we can see the conveyors, which are going to be going all the way around this ship because it does have a sorter on here and it does have a lot of ejectors. So we've got the landing gear at the very bottom there and we can see first of many gyroscopes on this ship. We've got some batteries which then lead across to a large small ship cargo container which then has a bunch of sorters on there with more ejectors coming out the back. Slightly above that and attached onto the cargo container is the regular connector so you can offload all this stuff into your base. Above that is a camera to make sure you can connect up properly without damaging your ship. On the side of it, we've got lots of ion thrusters, nice small ones, which are dirt cheap to build if you can get over to a pirate's mayday signal or kill off a pirate, you'll be able to build these no problem. We've got some more reactors on the side there, a interior light, more gyroscopes, programmable blocks hidden inside there. And then coming up above here, we've got an antenna got another LCD screen showing us the PAM script with a camera right in front of it. So if you're having trouble seeing it from the cockpit, you can always come over to this button right here and use it to see it properly. Yes, we can then come up and above where we've got another light and that about covers it. It's got all the stuff you need to mine and it's got some lovely scripts to play around with. There is that. So taking control of my character, in fact pressing F10, because I completely forgot about this, we need to find the big minor one, which is right here. So this ship weighs in at 180 small blocks. It has no mods, it uses no DLC blocks, so it's perfect for survival mode, provided you can set up the scripts. So on tab number one of this ship, we have got our drills, where if we click it and use our mouse, we can now shake around and drill. Number two is to simply have them on at all times. Number three is for the sorters on and off, so if you wanted to keep the stone, you can turn that off and you'll be all good. Number four is to view the PAM LCD panel if you need to be zoomed in. Number six is to view backwards, so when we're trying to connect up the connector, that is what we'll use. Number seven is to lock or unlock the connector. Number eight is for the landing gear, and number nine we don't touch, because that is for the PAM script, but we control it from tab number two. Number one is our auto fly home button, yes, our little homing signal where if we press it, the autopilot will engage and start flying us home. But I'm just going to turn that off, because that is still on the mod creator's home. So if I was to find the remote, there it is. You'll simply find your base waypoint, add it in there and the ship will fly over to it. Number two and number three are to control the speed of your autopilot, so pressing number two will increase it, three will decrease it. Four is to view the pan panel once again, and six is to view behind you once again. Now number seven, eight and nine is what we're going to use to auto mine. So seven and eight are to control this up and down. I will go into camera number four so you can see this a bit clearer. So pressing seven will scroll up, 
pressing 8 will scroll down. Pressing number 9 is OK, so if I went over to info and press number 9, it'll then go to that. So we can just press next, back and all that. So this has been set up for the mod creator to mine, but you can largely ignore that if you're not interested in it and simply click the set up mining job. So if I was to come out of this camera and sort of fly close to this asteroid, so I want to be maybe over here. I'm then going to press number 9, and then we get this panel where we can change the width and the depth of how we want to drill, but I'm just going to press number 9. My hands are now off the keyboard. The ship is going to automatically move over a certain distance, and then it'll push forwards and start mining. So here we go, we're flying at a very slow speed, but I'm nowhere near the asteroid, so this could be a disaster. So here we go, we're going to very slowly move towards this asteroid. I probably should have gone a bit faster, but yes, if you want to stop the PAM script from working, we simply press number 9 again to stop it. So we're just going to keep going forwards like this for a predefined distance, and then the ship will automatically reverse itself out the hole back to your starting position, and then attempt to fly back home. So if you don't have any coordinates set up, or you're simply spawning this in of the workshop, then it's going to try and fly back to the original GPS location of the creator's base. So here we go, we're just going to make a nice little hole into this. We've got a perfect drill set up, so we can just keep ramming ourselves forwards. And then our ejectors at the back there will just keep the stone going out. Now as you saw there, we are now automatically reversing, because the PAM script believes that we have completed everything with the drilling thing. But yeah, that's going to keep pooping out all the stone there in perfect sync like that. We can just come over to this bit. In fact, I'm going to line myself up like so. I can then press number 9 and start a new job. We'll slowly move to the left, which is how it's going to start a new hole. So if you just came out of a fresh hole, press number 9 again, and it'll move you across a little bit and start drilling. So this one should be a little bit deeper. And then it will reverse itself out. So it's going to keep ejecting all that stone out there. So make sure you've got the clean up turned on. In fact, that is just simply reversed out. It did not like that one. So I was playing around with this a little bit earlier and I made this lovely hole down here in this giant uranium patch. Although it might be because we are full up of resources. In fact, probably is what has happened. So I'm just going to take everything out of this. There we go, hide all the empty. So I'm going to fly over here, just let it go one more time, then we'll do a quick thruster test and that will be it. So I'm going to set up a new mining job, start a new job, it's going to fly a little bit, and it's going to start mining this uranium and gold. So if it goes forwards, it's not going to eject anything out because we're not on a stone patch. They'll just keep moving forward and I'll move the camera around. Yeah, it'll just gather stuff up, once you're full, it'll pull itself out, and we're good to go. It's doing a fantastic job, look at that go. I think it's because it's wobbling around, it's managing to hit a lot more of the area around itself. There we go, we can see the load down there filling up, and our maximum load is 80%. We're now on 18, we're just going to keep going. And here we go, we've gone for quite a while now, so if I was to view backwards, we've made one hell of a big tunnel through here, and the ship is automatically reversing itself all the way out, and should give us a nice clear distance for us to take over, and fly it to where it needs to go, unless of course we set up the GPS coordinates, and then that will do. So here we go, we should be able to go into the third person camera any minute now. There we are. It reversed all the way out the hole. So there we go, back to where we started. And then it's going to move across a little bit and we'll probably start again. So here we go again, it's going to start drilling until it fills itself up with all the stuff it needs. And there we are, we're about to hit our maximum of 80%. There we go, and now you see there it's flying to the drop path which is 163,000 meters away, which is the creator's base. So now it's time to do a little thruster test. I've shown the outside and what it can do with his little drilling function. So going forwards, we got quite a slow speed, but this is a miner, not a fighter, so speed isn't really that useful. So going backwards, fair amount of speed. Going left, 
and going right, it's quite slow, going down, and then going up, again is a quite slow, but it does seem well balanced all the way around the outside. I'm wiggling my mouse around, now this is the odd part, we have way too much control on this thing, to the point where I would recommend finding the gyroscopes and dropping it all down to around about 45%, which will then put you, well, it's still a little bit off. In fact, you could just turn off two of the gyroscopes and yeah, that's a little bit better in terms of control. So that is that. It's a nice little mining ship and I do like the script that goes with it. And I do like how the drills have been placed and everything on the ship, including the script placements and all that. And the fact that you can just drive all the way through without being worried that you're going to scrape along the side of a wall and damage your ship. So it'll be in the description below if you wish to download and play around with this yourself. I highly recommend you do because it is fun to play around with that PAM script and have it all set up for you and ready to go. So thank you all for watching and I'll be back with another showcase video some point soon. Bye bye.